Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at hiding things automatically when editing components. So, uh, a week or so ago, we did this model behind me on the live model. Uh, we do a live model every Friday at noon on YouTube if you guys ever want to hang out with us. And uh, the question that came up more than anything else was, how was every getting, I getting everything to disappear automatically when I went in to edit my logs in the, in the model? Um, so I figured it was worth jumping in again and talking about how to effectively use hiding similar components and hiding others when you're editing components. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is the model. This is the, the, the model we actually did for the live stream. So I'm gonna use that as an example. Um, the commands we're talking about are up here under view. So if I go to view, component edit, there's two here, hide rest of model and hide similar components. So I'm just gonna go over what they, how they work real quick and then we'll talk a little bit about how to use them. All right, so let's say I want to edit this window, for example. If I double click that window, um, everything else grays out. This is the setting, by the way. I can set how, how grayed out everything gets, but this is the default behavior is my, the thing I'm editing is in full color. You can see there the blue and the, the white, and then everything else goes to this kind of shadowed or, or grayed out view. Uh, with this view, it's not x-ray, so I can't see through it. So I'm looking at it in the context of the entire building, but you can see everything else kind of disappears. So this is okay. This is a nice thing to have, but to work on this a little bit better, it's nice to be able to quickly and easily come over here to view, component, edit, and hide rest of model. What that will do is it will hide everything that is not this specific component. So this works for components. Uh, if, if I had a group, for example, I think my roof is just a group. Um, yeah, so this is a group. Same thing here. If I double click on the group, it hides everything except for that group. So it works for groups or components. We use the term components throughout this. If I, if I look in here under uh, component edit, it says that, but this does apply to, hide rest of model specifically applies to editing groups as well. So if I come in here and edit this component, everything else disappears except for the other copies of this component. This is what the other command is about. So if I go back to view component edit, hide similar components says hide everything that is not this component. So if I turn that on, those go away. These two uh, options there we go, are not mutually exclusive. They don't actually interact at all. So if I have that hide rest of components turned on and I go to edit this one, you see the rest of them disappeared. So um, I get a lot of questions about why, why that command, why? So this one seems to make sense to a lot of people, right? Hide rest of model. I come in here, I want to edit something, everything else disappears, that works, that makes sense. But why would I want to hide similar components? So like in this view, this one right here, I'm not bothered by these other windows floating around. In fact, if I come in here and start making changes, it's kind of nice to see that, right? There are situations where that can be frustrating. So if I swing around here to this back wall and say I want to work a little bit on this log right here, if I double click this log, well, because these are all overlapped, now. I'm in that same spot where I can't see the whole log. So if I wanted to do some, I don't know, I'm gonna make up some work. <laughs> but if there's something I wanna to do to the top section of this log, I can't do it right now. Well, I can, but it's, it's difficult because I have all these other pieces in the way. This is where view uh, hide rest similar components comes in because then when I have that turned on, I'm only gonna see this. In fact, in something like this where it's stacked, this can actually be kind of nice to have the opposite turned on where I don't hide the rest of the model, but I do hide similar components because if I click that, see, the rest of those logs go away. Okay, so we've talked about those pieces and, and let's talk, dig a little bit more into how exactly one might use them. So I gave you a couple use cases there. Um, the big one being, so I'm gonna go back to the window and I'm gonna click on this. The big one being, okay, so I'm looking at this. I can see how it fits inside the logs. Um, if I wanna do something with this piece of trim right here though, it's kind of hard. So there's a lot of situations where you're gonna go edit a component where it's nice to quickly flip on and off. So I happen to have hide rest of model mapped to shift Q. So if I hold on shift and tap Q, that goes away and comes back with just a shortcut key. 
So that is super nice because now I have really the ability to quickly jump from seeing it in the model, seeing it by itself, in the model by itself, real quick and easy. I don't have a shortcut key set for hide similar. So let's go ahead and set that. We can refresh ourselves on how to set shortcut keys. If you go to the preference menu, preferences under SketchUp on Mac, it's under Windows on Windows. And if I go in there, go to shortcut keys, in here, it's going to show you all the commands that you can get to right now. So I'm going to type in hide and it's going to show me all of my options. So right now, um, I can see right here, I have view hide rest of model is set to shift Q. So I'm going to take the next one down, view component edit, hide similar components. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to type shift A. So now I have those two and they're right next to each other, the Q and the A on the keyboard are right next to each other. So if I come out here, tap hide, hold down shift and tap A, my other components, my similar components show up and disappear, shift Q. So this is just a mouse click to get this to happen. This is where the power of these commands show up when you can quickly and easily toggle other items in your model. So I come in here and I click on this log because I want to edit it. Well, let me see without the rest of the model. Well, let me see without the rest of the pieces. Okay, yeah, bring the rest of the model back, but not the other pieces. Bring the other pieces back. Super easy, super quick, and that's like a powerful shortcut key to have set up there. It's not a default one. That is something you will have to set manually, but once you set it, uh, I recommend having two keys that are near each other so you can toggle through them quickly, and uh, it really is a great way to speed up your modeling, especially when you're working with a lot of components. So, like I said, I wanted to make that video. We've done, I've done another video, it's a couple years now, but we did a video on uh, hiding rest of model when you're, when you're editing components. Um, so we've, we've, did, we've, we've looked at this before, but we didn't get into it really in the context of workflow. And like I said, we just had so many questions come in from that last video that I really wanted to touch on that. So hopefully you like that. If so, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. Like I said, this video was created because of a comment and the next video we make could be because of your comment. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.